I'm standing out in front of the walls of Jerusalem, a city historically known for hostility towards Jesus. In Matthew 23, Jesus says, O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, the city that kills the prophets and stones those who are sent to it, how often would I have gathered your children together as a hen gathers her brood under her wings, and you were not willing. So I'm a Jewish man that believes in Jesus. Let's go see what the people of Jerusalem have to say about it. Okay, so I'm a Jewish man, and I believe in Jesus. Am I, am I wrong? You are, yes. Yes? No, no, tell me. I'm, I'm not going to be offended. I just want to know why and have a, an intellectual conversation. Okay, I'm a Jewish man. Okay. I believe in Jesus. Okay. Am I wrong? Yeah. Tell me how. It makes absolutely zero sense. Because you're Jewish, you should learn about your own roots first. Can I hear what the Yeshua was? Is What's that? that story? What's that? You said you had a Yeshua five years ago. An experience, yeah, salvation story. Can I hear about more about the story? More about the story? Of yeah. course. So five years ago, I had an encounter with Jesus that I wasn't expecting. Okay. I wasn't expecting it. I was miserable, depressed, anxious, and suicidal. And I felt empty. So I tried to fill it up with uh, new age spirituality, meditation, bits and pieces of Buddhism and Hinduism, idol worship. I had my own made up religion. And I realized that I needed something more. And when I finally crumbled and fell to the floor, I cried out to God and Jesus showed up. He showed up in people, he showed up in books, he showed up in television programs, and I started to weep. And so what I realized was that this is the truth. And so I put my faith in Yeshua. I was changed overnight. And I, I decided to research the scriptures, the Old Testament, and well, the Tanakh, our yeah. Hebrew scriptures, right. and realized that they were pointing to someone. The whole time they were pointing to someone. And then when I read the New Testament, I was like bold enough to finally open it and, and read through it. I realized there's a beautiful story from beginning to end about the problem that the Jewish people have with their with relationship with God. And in the New Testament, how God fixed the problem by sending the Mashiach. Yeah. So five years studying my faith, realizing that this is the truth. And so it was just a simple question of, am I, am I wrong? And if I'm wrong, just your opinion as to why, and that's all. Just to have a, a, just a dialogue between Jewish brothers. Sounds like a very good argument. Um, and I appreciate you stopping by. I mean, yeah. it, it, takes, it takes courage. No, I like having a good time. So yeah. It's just a part of my good time today. Like, why would I be wrong? Um, and first of all, I appreciate you stopping because... No uh, is, is it possible to have reached for two different, you know, things, different conclusions to have been made by different, uh, by different people, I guess, Absolutely. you and, and, and someone else? Yeah, like someone, like most traditional Jews would say that I'm wrong. Right. Yeah, and, and that it's not, it's not, it's not appropriate, it's not right for a Jewish person to put their faith in Yeshua, only God alone. Shema Yisrael Adonai Yohein Adonai Echad. Okay, it's the Shema. God is one, he's not a man, like it says in uh, Hosea. But you know, when we, you know, you, you know that you're familiar with the story of Genesis, right? The Breshit, where God appears to Abraham as a human. He's with two angels, he appears as a human and speaks to, to Abraham right. in first person, yeah, right. in first person as right. God. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. That's okay, I, I that's okay, that. that's okay. And so, and so he, he, he has appeared he has appeared as in human form in the past. So he can do it without being only human. Right, so you, right, if, if, if you, right, I guess I see how, if you see that, that main, that main Malach who speaks to Avram right. the first person, which, yeah. Rashi, 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 whatever. Yeah, 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 they, that. yeah Rashi. That there's, a, there's a main officer and there's two, there's two, um, there's two other um, angels. angels. Yeah. So I guess where I'm coming from, bo, bo, bo. I guess where, where I'm coming from under the understanding or idea that you know those are all three were angels, and that wasn't necessarily a I believe in angels right. and God's messengers, and right. without yeah. I guess without seeing that that was God, I I can't agree yeah. to the point that I wouldn't be able to agree to the point yeah. that God is that there's presence. Because there are times God. in the in the Tanakh where he actually speaks in first person as the Lord, like he speaks in first person. But you should check it out. How could I believe that you're wrong? I can, we have belief, truth is truth. Right. Right. So I've always been a fan of looking for truth with truth. Okay. 
That means one can look for truth in a way that's self-serving, that works, you know, I like this. Right. What I believe is that everyone has a journey in life. And the only way to search for that journey is to search for it with truth. That means look for truth with truth. Right. What's in the way always? Yeah. We have our biases. And we have natural, we're human beings, we right. have a bias. Right, right. right. Did you know that I grew up and my bias was against Jesus? Yeah, obviously. Yeah, obviously. but I came to faith in him. Yeah, yeah. Through a, a supernatural I, I experience, totally, yeah. I totally understand that. Yeah, yeah. I expect that. I have a lot of experience with, pe with people like that. Yeah, yeah. And I just want to tell you something. There's, there's, you need, we need to go to a direction that takes us to inner tranquility, mm. to a place where we can actually find the truth. So that's really interesting because Jesus himself actually said that he is the truth. So I believe that actually a, a, if someone is seeking truth and if they seek with their heart and they seek long enough, that they will find it in Jesus. Hey guys, do you speak English? Yes. Can I ask you a question for YouTube? Yeah, for YouTube? Yes? Yeah, I'm, I'm cool. Okay, so I, I'm, a, I'm a Jewish man. Yeah. Okay, I believe in Jesus. Okay. And a, am I wrong? And if I am, how or why? God created the world and you can tell that he did it because if you look around, you'll see. It's beautiful. I really look around. If you really look around, you'll see. Thank you. We're asking people questions on the street about my faith and your opinion about my faith. And I don't take it personal. It's, we're just asking people's opinions. I'm a Jewish guy. I'm a Jewish guy. But it is about, it is about Jesus. So I'm, I'm a Jewish man that believes in Jesus. And I'm just asking people if, what they think about that and if they think that I'm wrong. What's the name of the... The channel? So be it. So be it. So be it. Amen, the Anglit. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. So just asking people's opinions. That's all. Like, like, what's your opinion? I, you see a Jewish man standing in front of you. I say I believe in Jesus. How does that make you feel? And, and do you think that I'm wrong? I mean, I have my opinion and you have your And your, your opinion, opinion is valid and yeah. completely respectable. As well, so as well. Thank you. If you ask me, like, if we would have a debate, I wouldn't know much. Yeah. But if you would have a debate with a rabbi, yeah. a rabbi that knows, I think yeah, yeah. Great fun. <laughs> but you can tell me what you think, which is important. I, I, I grew up Jewish. Yeah. I have a Jewish family. I went to Hebrew school. I'm from New York. From, from California. California yeah, Hebrew better. school. Uh, <laughs> and I rocked to fill in. I went yeah. to Hebrew, uh, a Jewish summer camp. And what happened? No, listen, this, I, this was a long time ago. I had my bar mitzvah. My son had his bar mitzvah. But five years ago, I had an encounter with Jesus, Yeshua, that I wasn't expecting. I wasn't expecting it. I was miserable, depressed, anxious, and suicidal. Like I wanted to commit suicide. And I had experiences that were related to Jesus suddenly over the course of like 45 days, day after day after day. And it started to like change me from the inside and I didn't know why. So what do they teach you about Yeshua? I'll tell you what, I studied in a Goish school. Okay. So. Well, Gentile school. What? Yeah, Gentile school. Yeah, yeah. yeah, all right, yeah. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> it's good that you, you speak, can translate. Uh, yeah, you can translate <laughs> so, 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 yeah, and and we, I did study a little bit on that on yeah, Christianity. Yeah. yeah. People think that the New Testament is like anti-Semitic and things, but you studied a little bit of Christianity, right? And of course, it's I, I don't know if it's anti-Semitic either yes or no, but. Yeah. I think you can see in the revolutions after what happened after all. Yeah. Came a little bit anti Semitic. Yeah, well, actually, afterwards, the, the, the church moved away from the yeah, Bible yeah, of course, yeah. and from their Jewish roots. Yeah, of they disconnected from their Jewish roots, which caused connections with polit politics and then oppression and, and persecution of Jewish people. Yeah. You know. So, what happened was five years ago, I had this experience. And I didn't want to just think that, oh, I feel it, therefore it's true. I wanted to study it. So I read through the whole Bible, the, the Tanakh, all the way through to the, to the Bita Chadasha, the New Testament. And I realized there's a beautiful story from beginning to end about the problem that the Jewish people have with their with the relationship with God. And in the New Testament, how God fixed the problem by sending the Mashiach, yeah. you know, who was supposed to come before the destruction of the temple in 70 AD. And he came right on time. And so I thought, this is incredible. I sort of, he changed my life and now I'm reading about it, how he did it. And you feel attached to it. Yeah, I feel that it's the truth. It's, it's your own point of view, you know? It doesn't so make like, it true, though. I can't tell you, oh, what, what you think, what you feel is wrong, you know? It's like... Well, I mean, like, I could say that the sky is green and the, mean, the moon is made out of cheese, but it's not true. A religion is something you need a teacher and mentor to provide you, explain to you 
between the lines. Yeah, so yeah. You can't read from words. So I would tell you that it's it's actually quite silly with exploring in a very detailed way your own roots with a rabbi, uh, somebody who's knowledgeable. Yeah. I can explain to you. I would say it's a very it's, a, it's, it's an unfortunate thing to do. I appreciate your your opinion. Okay. Do, did have you ever read the New Testament before? I I, did. I, I don't need to because I have my own religion. I'm I'm a thousand percent set. So yeah, yeah. I love what I do. Yeah. And I'm I'm very passionate. But you should, you're Jewish. Yeah. You see, are you Jewish? Yeah, yeah. If someone's not Jewish, by the way, I wouldn't tell him, you know, it's not my thing. Yeah. But for a Jewish person, you certainly should look, read your own roots. Otherwise, it, it, it actually, it makes absolutely zero sense because you're Jewish. You should learn about your own roots first. What do you like? What do you, what's your faith? What do you believe? What I believe, I mean, I believe what I grew up learning, which is just, you know, like, uh, I don't know, it's like Hashem, creator of all, like, yeah. uh, more so just grew up believing in, um, Jewish law, like following halakha, right? Um, putting on tefillin, right? And then when I came to, I never really did a lot of like digging as far as like why or like how we were created. Just more so like, kind of had that that faith just from inheriting it from my parents. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And I'm a Jewish believer in Jesus. I'm a man, a Jewish man that believes you know in what? Jesus. I, I Am I wrong? That's true. There but, is nothing wrong that you would you can believe to whatever you are and you are entitled to whatever you want to believe. Thank you. It's okay. Thank you. Know, you. you know? There is nothing wrong. Yeah, God bless you. Wow. My so pleasure. You God bless you. No, I'm serious. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Thank you. Yeah, well, we are, as Jewish people, we are told to be the light to the nations, a light to the world, right? Yeah. And so, how do but we the reach light the to world? The Jews as well? Absolutely. Yeah. We're all part of the world, right? The Jewish people are part of the world. And you know what Yeshua said? He said, Go be my witnesses in Jerusalem and Judea and Samaria first. Of course. Yeah. Then the rest of the world. To the Jews first. It's so, interesting. It is know? interesting. But it's, it's, I think that's maybe where, where, where the conflict maybe starts, you know? Yeah. That, that, yeah, that's, yeah. And it's interesting. It it's is interesting. It's very interesting, you yeah, know? Yeah. It's beautiful what you do, you're doing in this project, you know? It's really appreciate it. I appreciate it. Well, I we're brothers. You were Jewish brothers. You know that, right? You'll, you'll, you'll always be Jewish, you know? That's right. That's but right. Some people find it offensive. Yeah. Some people that went to Christianity and you still tell them that. They're, 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 they're still Jewish, they get offended, but you don't yeah. get offended. No, by that. of course not. I don't, it's difficult to offend me. Do you know what the word Christ means? Go for it. Mashiach. Yeah. yeah. Right. It means Mashiach. Yeah. yeah. Is, there, is there anything specifically you could point to that you think is a, is a, is proof, like, is a proof from, I guess, from the Old Testament of, of the New Testament? Well, the, first of all, there's the prophecies. Right. Born in Bethlehem. In Daniel 9, he says that the, that the Messiah has to come before the destruction of the, se the second temple. So if basically, if, there's, if, if the Messiah hasn't come yet, then there's no Messiah. If he was supposed to come before the destruction of the second temple. I, again, I'm not sure if I necessarily agree to the assumptions that you're making. Sure. Sure, that's yeah. why we're having conversation. Right. And I appreciate you so much. Yeah. So you, you identify as Christian? Well, I'm a, I'm a Jewish, per Jewish man that believes and follows Jesus. Right. Yeah. Yeshua. Right. right, that's not right. That's, that's so the word Christ means Mashiach. Okay, it's Greek for Mashiach. So a Christian is basically someone that just follows Messiah. Right. It's that not may, like I'm just, uh, yeah. That may, that you're, so you're, you're, you're saying you are, you do identify as Christian. Absolutely, okay. absolutely. But I, I don't have to use the term Christian. I usually just say Jewish follower of Jesus because Christian has a context here like when i when i ask you the word christian what do you think of christians like followers of gentile Russia. people no not particularly just yeah. people who follow jesus yeah so yeah then i would be that do you think i'm still jewish um it's not i don't think that's a question i can answer really i'm not sure i, I like i'm a, I, like my parents are jewish both of them my right. fa my my, right. fa oh, yeah, yeah, my father's side cohen yeah. My mom's side, Levi. Right, you're Jewish, yeah. Yeah, yeah. On both sides, like all the way up. So, your right, your mother's. Your yeah, mother's I'm just not, I'm not a religious Jew. Everyone has different opinions. Right. And I think the important thing for me, at least, yeah. when someone tells me something like that, yeah. is just like be respectful of it. I right. mean, um, you know, as long as you feel like there's a spiritual connection that yeah. works for you. Right. And you, I guess if you have people to kind of speak with about it and to yeah. form a connection with on similar grounds where Maybe someone has the same opinion as you, or someone has a different opinion, different opinion than you. Yeah. But you're respectful of each other's opinions, and right. you can connect around the fact that like you have a spiritual connection to God, Jesus, right. Shem, right. Allah, you know, like right. Different. We're Jewish brothers here. Yeah, exactly. You know. So I mean, 
you know, good for you. Like, yeah. good for good for anyone who has a differing opinion, as long as people are respectful of it. But right. I don't think it's there's a right or wrong. Just yeah, as well, long as like, people can understand each other. Yeah, the question I have, like, really, is like, if I believe it, does it make it true, or is there truth outside of like my own belief? You know what I mean? I mean. I mean, faith's, faith's one of those things. I mean, it's the definition is like you have to believe in something that might not necessarily be explainable. Yeah. You, know, you have to have that faith. So, I mean, true, it could be true in your own mind, not true in someone else's. But again, that's 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 the opinions that come into play here. I mean, right. whether or not you believe it and someone else believes it, I mean, yeah. it's a matter of what, what's true to you yeah. and how you connect with religion as a whole. Actually, I feel more Jewish now than I used to when I was younger. Uh -huh. You you feel you're, like your you're co connection to... to Jew like Judaism is, is my connection to the Jewish people, to our Jewish roots, to our Ktuvim, is much stronger. And I've read I've read through the Tanakh quite a few times, and it actually increases my faith in Yeshua because I see from the beginning, Reshit yeah. in Genesis 3:15, mm -hmm. that uh, there was a problem between Adam and Eve and, the, and God, and then there was a separation, and God said that uh, the seed of the woman which women don't have seed, but the seed of the woman, so it was, it was pointing towards something, will crush the head of the serpent, which is basically the, the idea of the, of the Satan, right? The devil that came to put a separation between us and God. So from the beginning, there's pointing towards someone. Do you believe in the coming of a Messiah? Yeah. You do? Do yeah. you believe that he's going, is it, he's a person or it's like an age? I'm not, I haven't, not sure. I'm, I haven't learned enough. Uh, I myself did not grow up, uh, didn't grow up particularly fulfilled or religious. Yeah. Um, so I'm just ha only been learning for five years, yeah. six years. Me too, actually. So. Interesting. Parallel, yeah. just different conclusions. Right. Yeah. I guess it's, it's interesting how that, I guess, based, I was saying earlier that there's two, I guess there's more, probably more than two different conclusions. Absolutely. Make, and Absolutely. either one can uh, be fulfilling, I guess. They can be fulfilling. The question was whether or not it's true, which is what you asked. Right. How do you know it's true? You know what I mean? Instead of, right. am I wrong? Well, how do you know you're right? Because if you're yeah. right, I'm wrong. Right. That's true. Yeah. Um, and vice versa. Right. Yeah. Um, so we true. keep studying and we keep asking God for guidance, right? Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate you, bro. No problem. God bless you. You too. Take care. Well, that was so encouraging. I got to share my story. I got to have some really fantastic and intellectual discussions with people about Jesus, about faith. Um, the questions in here in Jerusalem, the answers were very different here in Jerusalem than they were in Tel Aviv. Um, I did get a few uh, resistance. I, some people didn't want to talk about it at all. And other people were really engaging. And I was actually really surprised because I was expecting some hostility. Um, but we're all brothers here. We are Jewish brothers that live in the land of Israel and we have different faiths. If you like this kind of content, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, help YouTube promote this video more, so leave a comment down in the comment section. We'd love to hear from you if you have questions for me. If you disagree with me as well, put that down in the comment as well. Thank you for watching. God bless you.